Psychological operations, commonly referred to as PSYOPs, are operations designed to convey selected, specific information and indicators to certain target audiences with the goal of influencing their emotions, motives, while getting rid of their objective reasoning, and then ultimately moving the needle of the behavior of governments, organizations, groups, and individuals. One of the keys to all good successful psychological operations is making sure that your target audience does not know that you are a psychological operator or that you have any such goal. It has to be a very subtle thing because once you're found out, the game is over. Now, the reason I let off with this for the first minute is I get questioned a lot. Florida Maki, you have come out and openly admitted that this is what you did in the military. How can we trust you? How do we know that? Well, the primary reason you can trust me is that I have announced that right off the bat. What I am attempting to do is reveal the tactics and techniques being used, military tactics, by people you wouldn't necessarily think are associated with military psychological operations or intelligence services. I referred to the battlefield of the mind. It is truly the battlefield of the 21st century. World War Three, World War Four, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a battle that is waged inside the minds of people. Because when you go outside and look around, it doesn't look like this, does it? But inside people's minds, it does. I guess there are parts of the world that does look like this, but not here in America. And make no mistake, you are targets. You are targets of very specific psychological operations. And in today's video, here, I'm going to make an exception and show this. And I'm going to remind people of something, and it's going to probably hurt a little bit. It's going to probably make you ask some questions about what you were thinking at that time and what you're thinking now. If you'd like to get read in on these specific tactics and techniques and how they're used, join us at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel, where it's only one single U.S. dollar per month. We have to have it over there because the information is just not something social media giants want you having for free. They will do everything they can to make sure that it doesn't get shown if I put it here in public. That's also why I've made it fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. I know things are tough for everybody. I know things are tight for everybody and every dollar matters. But believe me, this could end up paying dividends in the long run. Now, without any further delay, God bless all of you, by the way, that have showed up over there. I never want to forget to be thankful and show gratitude. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that's Donald Trump and Elon Musk. They're going to make America great again. Elon Musk is so wonderful. He did, Haven't you heard all of the good thing and he's giving all this money? Oh, Elon Musk, I hate him. Elon Musk, oh, he's terrible, can't you? He's with skull and bones of Santa's. He's the most worst person, and I love him. He is the bestest ever, and I can't think of a better person to be in the administration. Oh, we need to get rid of the billionaires in politics. He's with the, the, the Santa's, and he's the sanctimonious, and I can't believe it's been so long, and now finally... It Do you see the idea here? Do you see the idea? You ready for this? Ready to have your mind blown? I'm sorry. I thought this guy was to be listened to. I thought this guy was to be believed and identified with. Who remembers Oliver Anthony? Richmond North of Richmond, I'm so oppressed. I have a tractor, boat, and ATV, a 90-acre ranch, a flowing stream, raised chickens, own three dogs. And for fun, I sit home and smoke weed, play guitar, and... Sing songs, but I'm oppressed. I'm oppressed. I think that's the lyrics of the song. I didn't listen to all of it, really. Working these hours for dirt pay and all this other nonsense. Isn't it funny that the same people, the same people that were like, oh, this guy, he is, it's an anthem for an entire generation. We need to get rid of the rich men. 
We need to get rid... If you put every single rich man north of Richmond, and I mean every president, every senator, every member of the House of Representatives, every single Supreme Court justice, and you could probably add in all of the staffers as well, who have ever served, who have ever served in Washington, D.C., in the last 50 years, and you could put all of their net worths together, they don't come to a fraction of what these two men are worth combined. Not even close. But yet you also identify with this message. That it's the, the rich, they're the problem in this country. We got people that are barely getting by. Barely getting by. They can't afford nothing. And then rich men north of rich men, they're just, they're just, Billionaires. Billionaires. But of course, they're good billionaires now because good billionaires are with, with the orange man. But the, then when you have, to, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That, that Ron DeSantis, he's such a traitor and he can't believe he's got a billionaire on his side. And deep state. Confirmation bias. Emotional pre-wiring. The reason I show you one picture and you're all upset and angry and I show you another picture where only one small thing has changed and you are completely beside yourself with joy and ecstasy and happiness. Confirmation bias. Your decisions are pre-wired. It comes from something called the fundamental attribution error. This is a cognitive bias where individuals overemphasize personal characteristics and ignore situational factors when judging others' behavior. Now, that sounds like a lot of words held. Basically, if you see someone else late to work, you're going to waggle your high-minded, judgmental finger. Well, they're pretty bad at time management. You know, if they wanted this job bad enough, they'd showed up on time. But if it was you being late for work, it would be everybody else's fault. It'd be that guy that doesn't know how to handle a four-way stop. Or the guy who had plenty of room to turn at that left turn signal that was getting ready to go red, and he didn't go and he made you wait through one of the light. It's his fault. And that quiet... Especially that quiet girl at a party. A lot of guys fall for this one. The quiet girl at the party. She's a snob. She's a lesbian. She thinks you're a dork. She's not even going to give you a chance. She could have just had a bad day and doesn't want to talk to anybody. Fundamental attribution error. If you win, if you win, it's because you're awesome. Just like Trump. If he won, oh, it's because I am awesome and everybody in America totally supports me and now we have proven that. But then when he loses, but then when he loses, oh, they, they cheated. They can't believe it. They, they got together. It's, total, it's a conspiracy to keep me. There's no way. Fundamental attribution error. Power resides where men believe it resides. It's a trick. It's a shadow on the wall. And certain things can cast a very large shadow over your lives as well. Now, remember a video or two ago when I said I'm not voting for the guy who's going to give unlimited power to a billionaire who wants to put brain chips in to control people's thoughts? I had some pushback saying about Florida Maki. He's, he's, Elon Musk is exactly the opposite of that. Not, old, not even a year ago, they were accusing him of that exact thing when he was helping Ron DeSantis with his campaign. But now that he's helping Donald Trump, oh, that's totally not true. Well, here you go. Here you go. 8 September 2024, Elon Musk unveils his next plan with Neuralink to the FDA. You see, funny story, Donald Trump wants to make Elon Musk the efficiency czar. What's his job going to be as the efficiency czar? Well, to look through the government and find all of these different bureaucracies, bureaucracies, pardon me, and see which ones he wants to strong arm and get rid of. But now he's unveiling his Neuralink to the Food and Drug Administration. This has never been done on a human being before. Let's read. Neuralink. The neurotechnology startup owned by Elon Musk is actively planning to insert its experimental brain-machine interface into a second human guinea pig, developing its audacious mission to merge human beings 
with AI. This development occurred after one of its first human trial subjects recently received the implant earlier this year, eliciting essential data and feedback to refine the implant and the surgery process. The move to the second participant proves Neuralink's eagerness to step further with its revolutionary technology. Although it has been criticized for its ethical concerns and regulatory issues concerning BCIs in the future, the company will strive to optimize the methods to improve the device and collect additional information on long-term outcomes and the potential uses of this innovative technology in treating neurological disorders like Christianity and other ailments. Neuralink begins second human trial phase. Critical changes made to implantation procedures for better results. Wait until you read this. The next upgrade for Neuralink will begin trials on the second volunteer, Elon Musk said. In the next week or so, some changes are being made to the surgical procedure and devices positioning, including problems that the first participant faced. These changes involve extending the threads of the device into the brain tissue, better monitoring the movements of the threads into your brain tissue, and shaving down the skull surface to ensure that it is as flat as possible beneath the implant. This is the guy you want to vote for. I'm not voting for Elon Musk. No, you're voting for the guy who's going to, without any approval of Congress, without any oversight, without anybody casting a certain vote, you're going to give this guy the ability, free reign, to go into government and say, we're getting rid of that, we're getting rid of that, we're putting that in, we're doing this, we're doing that. This is going to make him a czar. Trump is going to make him a czar. And he is openly planning on cutting open people's skulls and putting in things that mesh threads down into your brain tissue to control you. He's not even lying about it. He's not even trying to hide it. This is who you're going to vote for? You think I'm a psychological operator? And irony of all ironies. Elon Musk's Trump super PAC is run by survivors of DeSantis's botched campaign. Imagine that. Imagine the idea that perhaps Ron DeSantis wasn't personally responsible for the radio glitch that screwed up his rollout of his campaign. I'm sure that wasn't engineered by a billionaire. Oh, I'm sure it positive. It was just, you know, it was that must have also been Ron DeSantis' fault. Like everything else, all of the liberals like Trump and his buddies at CNN want to blame on the governor of Florida. It's a joke. It's why a lot of people don't have any respect for Trump supporters. See, this is the guy's so good people on both sides while well, he's at a, a skinheads march. He's at a skinheads march. Saying, well, there's good sides on, you know. I wonder if he'll say that about the Democrats. You know, about people that agree, disagree with him politically. Or people that are running against him. Well, you know, there's good, there's good people in both the Democrat and Republican Party. I mean, he could say that because he did ask for Hillary and Bill Clinton to get a standing ovation at his inaugural breakfast, literally five seconds after being elected. He did appoint Rex Tillerson, big oil executive, to be Secretary of State, first order of business. Backed off on promises to label China a currency manipulator because, you know, there are good people in, in communism. You know, there's good people on both sides of communism and capitalism. There's no good people in socialism, though. Nowhere and nowhere anywhere. Oh, it's horrible. It's terrible. It's, it's evil. It's a, I can't believe. I'm going to say it again. And hope it sticks. Where's the picture? There it is. Power resides where men believe it resides. This is Varys, a character from Game of Thrones. It's a trick. A shadow on the wall. And sometimes it can cast a very large shadow. And I'll leave it there. You want to get read in? Do you want to wake up? Do you want to see what's really happening? Join us at the Florida Monkey Patreon channel. It's getting close now. Things are getting serious. No more of this nonsense, you know, high school electing class president attitude. It's just not, it's not going to work. So when you watch what you watch tonight, 
make sure to ask yourself, hmm, hmm, are my decisions pre-wired? Is this confirmation bias? Am I seeing what I only want to see? If that's the case, guess what? There's good news. There's good news. See, there are a bunch of rich men north of Richmond. There are a bunch of rich men north of Richmond who have been in a position of incredible power for a very, very long time. And there are people who are suffering. The guy singing here isn't one of them. The guy singing the song isn't one of them. I guarantee if I had a boat, a tractor, an ATV, and I lived on a 90-acre ranch that had a flowing stream on it, and all I did was raise chickens and mess around with my three dogs, and for fun I sat around and partook in some substance that I enjoyed and wrote songs and played guitar, I'll guarantee goddamn to you I wouldn't be singing about being oppressed. How many of you out there? Down in the comments. How many of you out there, if you had a 90-acre ranch with a flowing stream, livestock, dogs, sit around and get high as a kite every day, ATV, tractor, and a boat? How many, how many of you be on your knees thanking God every day for the wonderful life you've been blessed with? How many of you would be writing songs talking about the wonderful life you've been blessed with? Is that what this kid did? And besides that, how can you identify with this guy and then say you're going to support this when these two people have far more money than anybody in Washington, D.C.? You could add them all up together and they don't come anywhere close. So I'll leave it there. Battlefield of the mind. God bless. Join us on Patreon. Love to have you. Pray for each other. Pray for me. I'll pray for you. Lift each other up. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys next time.